Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nikita here, your mentor for NEET PG and your mentor for NEXT. And uh, I've got this request from students to explain the lesser SAC and its relations. I'll try my best to make this topic as easy as possible for you all. So let us get started with it. So now let us first see embryologically how the lesser sac is formed so that it gives us the understanding of it and it will be easy to understand. So first of all lesser sac is formed due to rotation of the stomach, 90 degree rotation of stomach. In this image you can see the stomach is here right this is vertically over here. The stomach is rotating like this and then the stomach has become from vertical it has become horizontal. So from vertical it has become horizontal that means it has undergone 90 degree rotation and that is what leads to formation of the lesser sac. Let us see how. So here you have the stomach anterior to that is called as ventral mesentery or ventral mesogastrium. Posterior to it is dorsal so dorsal mesentery or dorsal mesogastrium. Now we have in the ventral mesentery we can see that liver is forming in the ventral mesentery. So you have the liver which forms here. So the ventral mesentery is divided into anterior part and the posterior part. In the anterior part we will see the ligaments related to liver that are formed. So you see falciform ligament which is formed here in the anterior part of ventral mesogastrium. And you can see between the liver and the stomach which is the posterior part of the ventral mesentery you have the lesser omentum. So lesser omentum is basically connecting stomach and the liver that is gastrohepatic ligament. So that's your lesser omentum. In the dorsal mesentery you can see here in the dorsal mesentery spleen is formed. So this is a question which is asked. Spleen is formed in the dorsal mesogastrium. And the ligament which is there is connecting the stomach and the spleen. So that is your gastrosplenic ligament. And you have a ligament connecting the spleen and the kidney. That is linorenal ligament. So gastrosplenic and linorenal ligament. They are in the dorsal mesentery or dorsal mesogastrium. So now you can see that this is what is the lesser sac which is forming. As the stomach rotates, as the stomach rotates, posterior to the stomach is the lesser sac which is formed. So you can see this lesser sac which is posterior to this horizontally lying stomach. Right? So lesser sac is actually posterior to the stomach, right? And you can see that this is the pancreas which is there. Lesser sac is anterior to it, right? Lesser sac is anterior to it. To the left of the lesser sac, we see this. The left boundary is formed by the gastrosplenic ligament and the lenorenal ligaments, right? And this is your uh, greater sac. This is your greater sac. This is your lesser sac. They are communicating by this foramen, which is called as the epiploic foramen, right? So this is your epiphloic foramen, the connection between the greater and the lesser sac. You can see that the posterior border of this uh, epiploic foramen is formed by the inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. And also in relation to that you have this right kidney here. That is the right suprarenal gland comes in relation to that. So the posterior relations are IVC, T12 vertebra and the suprarenal gland. It is the right suprarenal gland. Easy way to remember is that IVC is on the right side, so the gland is also this right suprarenal gland, not the left suprarenal gland, right? We see it's it's the right side. Let us see other images now. So you can see this lesser omentum here. You can see this lesser omentum here connecting the stomach and the liver. That's your gastrohepatic ligament, right? So the lesser omentum is superior to the stomach, but here you will have posterior to the stomach. Behind the stomach is that is where you have your lesser sac. This area which you see here, that is your epiploic foramen. I will come back to this image. Let us see the lesser sac first. Now, in this image, sagittal section, this is your stomach, right? This is your stomach. We said lesser sac. Remember that lesser sac is also called as left posterior intraperitoneal space because it is on the left side, posterior to the stomach, and it is intraperitoneal. So, it is left posterior intraperitoneal or it is also called as left subhepatic space or it is also called as omental bursa. So remember that these are the synonyms for lesser sac. So lesser sac is posterior to the stomach as you can see here this is the stomach the blue area which you see here that's your small area that's your lesser sac. The pink which you see here that is your greater sac okay and you can see that what are the relations of the lesser sac. Anteriorly now this is the anterior part which I have highlighted in yellow from above below you can see there is liver right this is your this is your lesser omentum here this is your lesser omentum here between the stomach and the liver you have the stomach anteriorly and you have this greater omentum the anterior two leaflets of the greater omentum so these are what forming the anterior relations as you can see posterior relations are highlighted in green so again you can see that there would be the posterior two layers of the greater omentum right you can see the transverse colon and the transverse mesocolon. 
you can see the pancreas here so whatever basically is in the stomach bed that is what forms the posterior relations of the lesser sac right you can see the duodenum here so all of these are the posterior relations also you can see the posterior relations you have the pancreas here right this area is the lesser sac this area is the lesser sac posteriorly you have pancreas right posteriorly you have kidney you have the splenic artery as well in close relation to the pancreas right and you can see on the left side we have already seen is the gastrosplenic and the lenorenal ligament on the right side is your liver right on the right side is your liver now this area which you see here entrance to lesser sac that is your epiploic foramen or the foramen of winslow and you can see here that the anterior free wall this is what contains your three structures which are entering the liver you have portal vein you have common bile duct and you have hepatic artery so you have common bile duct hepatic artery and the portal vein it is not the hepatic vein which enters the porta it is not the common hepatic duct which is there in the free wall it is the bile duct not the hepatic duct okay so you can see the uh, free wall anterior that that forms a relation of the epiploic foramen posteriorly we have already seen in that image you have ivc the t12 vertebra and the right suprarenal gland and here you can see in this relation this is your region of the epiploic foramen the superior relation is your liver the inferior relation is your first part of duodenum this is the region of your epiploic foramen anteriorly you can see the free wall of the lesser omentum which contains the three structures common bile duct hepatic artery and the portal vein which enter the porta and posteriorly you can see this ivc ivc along with t12 vertebra and the right suprarenal gland right so that is what are the relations now what are the causes of collection in the lesser sac the most common cause is pancreatitis as you can see the pancreas is posterior to the lesser sac so whenever there is pancreatitis you will have fluid accumulating in the lesser sac because of the close relation right the other reason could be perforation of the gastric ulcer pyloric ulcer so the collection will go posteriorly into the lesser sac the third reason is the splenic artery if there is a pseudo aneurysm and it ruptures it will lead to collection in lesser sac so the causes of collection in lesser sac are pancreatitis which is most common then we said it is gastric ulcer perforation and then we said it is splenic artery pseudo aneurysm so these are the important causes so i hope this makes it clear what are the relations of the lesser sac and what are the relations of the epiploic foramen do go through this images i will make this images available for download on my telegram group the link of which i am giving in the description of this video so these images will help you for your revision later on as well thank you take care goodbye keep studying keep revising and keep winning